Alright, so this is going to be a little bit of a weird Dwarf Fortress thing. Uh, we're just going to be talking about the game, in fact. Uh, this will not be uh, an actual stream of Dwarf Fortress, I'm just merely talking about it. Um, so call this a little uh, intermission in between, I guess you would call it. But um, Obviously, uh, if you don't know already, uh, or haven't heard the news, Dwarf Fortress is coming to Steam. Um, which is a pretty big thing. Um, because uh, Bay 12 has always been very independent, and uh, yeah, uh, there's a lot of things that that uh, comes with this. I, I was quite surprised by it because um, it, it came out of nowhere. My email, um, my inbox <laughs> uh, started to pile up, and like Joel, Joel, you need to like check Steam and check all this stuff. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa what? Um, so Dwarf Fortress is coming to Steam. First of all, it's being handled by um, not Bay 12 themselves, but a another um, game development company. Uh, for again, I, I am not, I don't have all the answers here. In fact, you guys might know this better than I do. This is merely my uh, perspective on it or whatever. But um, um, I believe they're called Fox something, and uh, what the Dwarf Fortress version is, Kit Fox, yeah. The Steam version of this will come with a pre-installed tile set, apparently, and uh, a sound mod. And uh, what it essentially is, and it boils down to, um, and they're being very transparent about this, which I appreciate, but um, the the Dwarf Fortress dudes, Bay 12, Zack, and Tarn, they, uh, they've always been dependent on donations from the... Um, players and the community they have a patreon and whatever but um apparently patreon is very uh, shaky and uncertain platform to uh get support for your games on you know stuff like that so uh they opted in to instead uh give out the game on steam for 20 dollars and um you can either play the free version b12 version or you can check out the steam one uh, my perspective on this is um, uh, I have so much tremendous respect for the Dwarf Fortress Greatest. Dwarf Fortress is my favorite game. I think that uh, some people that have never checked out Dwarf Fortress before is not, now going to have the um, means to do so via Steam. And I think it's great. And the money is going directly towards the creators, which is gr good too. Because that's one of the reasons they did this. Um, they uh, There's some... I don't want to go into details, because I don't know the details, but uh, apparently there is some sort of money th situation with medication and stuff like that, so it's quite serious. So uh, they're doing this, um, first of all, to, you know, with the Steam money coming in, um, they can uh, afford to uh, help out themselves, which is very important, you know. Uh, this is a serious side to like game making too. There, there's actual human beings behind it too. Um, so uh, that's that one side. But um, regarding just the Steam version in general, in in my opinion, I, I think it's uh, a little peculiar because um, I, I play without a tile set, obviously, and I can be a bit, bit of a jerk when it comes to ASCII because <laughs> I can sound a little a little dickish when it comes to tile sets and whatever. But uh, I'm a little tongue-in-cheek when I refer to like, oh, play without a tile set. And listen, Dwarf Fortress is just a great game, and how you want to play it is up to you. Because Dwarf Fortress is a very imaginative game. You know, it's a very, you know, you make up your own stuff. You know, and that's one of the reasons I love a love ASCII because it's you you supplement your imagination to what's happening. Now, there's nothing wrong with tile sets. If you want to play with tile set, that's all up to you, really. Um, I, I, and the actual tile set that they're gonna use for Steam uh, looks like um, looks like this, uh, and I think it looks pretty cool. I have not played with a tile set since um, 40D's May Day, and I don't even know if it's still available or supported. But uh, it looks pretty good. Um, I will be giving this a try at some point on Steam. And uh, regardless if I play the, the Steam version or not, I'm still going to be uh, buying it to uh, support the creators. But um, yeah, uh, this is on by default, and I, from, from what I've heard, you can't switch it off. So 
it's whatever. Oh, yes, yeah, Steam Version Conference Asky too. Well, okay, that's great. That's great too. Um, uh, what else was gonna say? Um, <laughs> it's funny because I'm so used to tile sets that this actually confuses me. I've said this before, but uh, uh, <laughs> I can't tell what's going on. I, I, that's that sounds ridiculous. Yes, but I I can't tell what dwarf that is. I can only tell them by colors of what the dwarf is and I, I don't know like he's an axe dwarf yes or like you know but um and i see the workshops obviously and i see the cow but uh see that that's when you know you play too much war fortress you see the you see the code but you know but besides that um it was a bit of a surprise to even see this but um uh yeah dwarf fortress is coming to steam and uh i, I have really nothing but but good thoughts about this i again i don't think that I think that this is a bad idea, because um, if you play with a tile set, that's great too, man. Like, I, I I really liked War Fortress, and sometimes I can be a bit of a dick about it, a bit, bit, bit of a jerk, because I it's I sound very pompous the way how much I like this game. Like, oh, this game is the best! But I only say that because I really like it, man, and I I, I, uh, I get up my ass about it, I guess. <laughs> um, but really, what it all stems down to, I really like this game, and if more people can play this via Steam, via uh, a better way of playing it, because the game is hard to get into. Um, the, the ASCII and the um, uh, little counterintuitive UI with the controls, it is a bit of a learning curve to, to adapt to this game. But, uh, yeah. Um, I say... Uh, if you want to get the Steam version, it goes to the, the creators, and I think that's great. Um, and uh, the only thing I, I can say that I'm concerned about with this thing... Uh, I'm going to be continuing streaming on the Bay 12 version, though. Because I... I ask is how i always done it. Um, however, uh, I'm a little worried, because the Bay 12 version is different than the Steam version. Um, so I'm waiting for this update on Bay 12, you know, with magic and stuff like that. That's going to be updated first, and then the Steam version after. Um, which, for me, has always been a bit of a problem, because people that play with tile sets have to wait until a new patch or a update of the game is fixed for tile sets, so I, I always have the advantage of playing something like like that, because because I used to play Dwarf Fortress with no Dwarf Therapist or Dwarf Management, stuff like that. It's just completely the original game. So, um, I, I don't know if the Steam version is going to be like one version that doesn't get updated alongside with the Bay 12 version. Um, so, there's a lot of questions I have. I'm, I'm not necessarily worried, I'm more curious, if anything. Um, but, uh, yeah. Um, they're getting updated side by side, which is kind of a bad thing because if you're a Dwarf Fortress nut then I, like I am, I, 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 I want my, my game like this, like boom, immediately. So, um, what else? But, uh, yeah, generally, I think this is a. Uh, Bit of a surprise because I I I, uh, I never expected this game to ever come on Steam because it's Bay 12 is for me it's always been very like independent dudes that just do their own thing you know but um, you know uh, but what do you guys think what do you guys think about this uh, I've said my piece I think it's great that new people get to play it I'm curious about this to see how it plays or I know how it plays but how it looks um, I like it I'm excited for it's fine about time. Uh, I love it. Now I can understand it. Uh, you won't because you still have to like learn the game. Graphically, it might look better, but gameplay, you still gotta learn all the stuff. But um, um, I like it. Oh yeah, the game is also on, on each eel. You know the game where you download like shitty Mario bootlegs <laughs> and Slender games. Yeah, it's also coming out. Not to say that each eel is bad, but. Um, you can still, uh, you can get a copy there as well, so, you know. Um, graphically seems simpler. I'll buy it to support my, my show my support. To deserve it, it'll keep both versions. Um, 
Joel's still a bit protective of the ASCII. Well, well, the, the, you know, you you got preferences, man. You like some people just like to play with ASCII, some play play with tile sets. And there's no better way of playing Dwarf Fortress because ultimately, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Um, for me, I love playing ASCII because it's more. The lack of graphics puts more of a creative sort of what is on the screen is in your mind, you know, and um, I, it's hard to explain, man, but I, I played it for such a long time that um, I I always in, saw Draw Fortress as um, it's like D&D. &D. What you don't see is, is more in a way because um, it feels like you supplement what's your with your imagination and creativity instead of what's given to you you know i, I don't know but again i i'm not shitting on tile sets it, i think tile sets are great um if because it, it's all customization um that's why we love games we want to play the games how we want to play them you know and nobody can can take that away from you like if you want to play with a certain mod if you want to play with a certain way that's great because like you know what hey <laughs> um uh, uh, I have never played Dwarf Fortress, but but I would like to start playing it. Would you recommend a toss it or go straight out of ASCII? Uh, I would go ASCII. <laughs> now, that I don't know, man. You you could you could play with toss sets. I just really what's appealing to you. Um, if you think that um this looks better, great. If you think that the default way is better, great. You know it's um. Yeah. ASCII. Um, Joel hates tile set. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying here. <laughs> um, let's see here. Um, uh, I can't believe Joel hates tile set. Yes, exactly. That's exactly what I'm preaching, huh? <laughs> Um, didn't create to do this because of medical bills. Okay, so so I have a proposition. I want to say something about this. Like, this is a very unrelated side note, and I just wanted to get an idea. And this is not a definitive. This is just an idea. Uh, one of my charity incentives, um, uh, 2018's charity event, I said a 24-hour Dwarf Fortress stream idea. Now, we can either do that. Or I can also somehow transform that into a charity stream in itself. Uh, and I was thinking that um, now, I don't know the, the full details of uh, the Bay 12 situation with the medical bills, but I was thinking instead of um, just me doing the stream for your style, hoo -hoo, how long can he stream for? Instead, I say we turn that idea into something charitable and, um, you know, ultimately that benefits someone instead of just me being up all night playing Dwarf Fortress, so, uh, you know, uh, I don't know how to go on about it, because uh, I am, I am when it comes to charity stuff, I, I am just one of many that uh, contribute to it, like the PCRF event that we do every summer, uh, I, I'm just a streamer, there are very many talented and wonderful people that go into it and manage the, uh, everything behind the scenes, and how to work with the charity stuff like that, I don't know how to do that fully, so I might need some help to uh, get this thing going, but uh, I would love to turn into uh, turn something related into a charity event here. Um, so uh, yeah, uh, maybe ask Toadie. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. But uh, the thing is, though, I said this before, but uh, I am I am one of the more popular Dwarf Fortress streamers. Um, so. In a way, I want to give back, um, in a way. Because a lot of people do watch my Sully Dwarf Worker streams, and I figured I could give back somehow. For the many years of entertainment and, uh, you know, so much this game has given me. Um, uh, Dwarf Fortress was... <laughs> this, this sounds really corny and cheesy, man, but... Um, I've been playing this game for 10 years, and Dwarf Fortress has been with me during really shitty times in my life. And these little, fun little... Uh, you know, fantasy dwarves killing elves and demons coming and it's like, it's been, you know, it's been uh, there for me a lot of times and I figured 
now that the craters are going through sort of a rough patch i want to give back you know some in some way capacity but um yeah uh, i think um first of all uh i think if you are a fan of this series uh that i've been doing yeah it's going to continue going to, going to continue as usual with season Season 2, still being ASCII, it's not going to be the Steam version, but I will give the Steam version a try at the stream at some point. We'll get, you know, something going. But, um, yeah, um, sometimes I can be a bit of a jerk with ASCII stuff on stream. I can be a bit elitist when it comes to Dwarf Fortress, and I apologize for that, um, you know. But I, I am I am merely uh, showing how much I love the game, you know, I, and I do it in a bit of a clumsy way, but... Um, yeah, anyway, could you buy could you buy a bunch of Steam keys for the game and do a giveaway that would support the devs and give the viewers something cool to look forward to? Yeah, yeah man, I, 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 we'll figure out something. I, again, this was an impromptu thing where I just wanted to discuss this really briefly. And, uh, yeah. The Steam version has an ASCII as an option, so, yeah, 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 but I'm also saying I'm still a little bit, like, confused about this because the the bay 12 version is being developed as the steam version is being developed on so it's gonna be a weird split you know i, so I don't know but uh yeah da, 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 da. why not just donate to the bay 12 site you know here's the thing um you you could donate to bay 12 now i, I don't know if this still is like this but i remember if you donated to bay 12 back in the day i think it was Zach, who drew a picture for you, <laughs> if you did, but, uh, yeah, uh, aren't they finals a big update for the first before they work on the Steam version? Uh, yeah, th there's no set date on this either, uh, before we do it, I want to show one more picture for this, this is the actual Steam page, um, logo for this, it looks pretty good, um, uh, and I again, it comes with a pre-made sound mod for this, which I've never played with, but, um, that's cool. Uh, uh, let's see here. Have a bit link to the Bay 12 donation page, whatever you stream Dwarf Fortress. Um, yeah, I, 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 uh, you may as well play the trailer while you're at it. Oh yeah, let's do that. Let's actually do that too. Dwarf Fortress Steam trailer, here we go. what it looks like if you're curious but yeah once again man I have nothing but like support for this stuff that's what it looks like <laughs> that, that, that's basically it. <laughs> There's not much else to it, really, but, uh, yeah. Uh, wishlist now. <laughs> um, wishlist sounds like a command. <laughs> um, yeah, it's more like a teaser, if anything. The Steam version is supposedly going to be graphic music and Steam Workshop mod support. The gameplay will be exactly the same. Sound of music, it might be some sound sense stuff. Yeah, it's sound sense, what it's called. Um, well, you should play the other Bay 12 games on the other. Maybe. Maybe I should. But tell you what, tell you what. If I do that 24 hour idea, we should definitely give the original Dwarf Fortress a try. Or, or uh, let me excuse myself. The original, uh, you know, Dwarf Fortress is uh, Slave Star Mark 2. The original Slave Star Mark, which is a kind of a bad game, it's like. Shh, uh, I better be careful before people crucify me for saying this, but it plays like RuneScape, confusing RuneScape, uh, single player RuneScape that's uh, a bit of a mess, but. Uh, yeah, uh, shit, uh, we'll see, we'll see, but, uh, yeah, okay, I, I can just summarize this, um, into this, um, Dwarf Fortress, the way I stream it, is going to be completely the same, 
Season 2 will begin soon. In fact, I teased it in February, but it might even happen this month. Uh, and it's not going to be a new update. It's going to be the same version because um, I don't want to wait any longer. I just want to start already because there's been too many one-offs of zombie forts and ice forts and all this bullshit. And I just want to start streaming a uh, proper Season 2. There was probably Season 1.5, let's be honest. But Season 2 officially needs to begin soon, so... Yeah. Um, and what do I think of this? I think it's... Uh, I think it's cool that new people get to play Dwarf Fortress. Um, I play without a tile set. And new players will appreciate being... Uh, playing with a tile set. And I think it's great. Dwarf Fortress is probably one of my favorite games of all time. And uh, it being on Steam um, is, uh, is a surprise. I didn't expect this to be this way, but um, all I can say is um, I want to turn my my um, position on the internet as a Dwarf Fortress streamer into uh, something more than that. I want to help out the creators or whatever, because one of the reasons this is being put on Steam is because uh, the creators need a little bit of support. And Steam is gonna uh, help him out with that, but I also want to help him out. So you know, um, the circumstances are kind of a bummer, but I'm glad the game is gonna get some more attention now. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And and tell you what, tell you what, when when this releases, I think that is the a very good place for me to start teaching Dwarf Fortress because um, th this meme about Dwarf Fortress being hard or difficult needs to fucking disappear and vanish because this game is not that it's complicated but not really it's it's easy to learn um uh, it's fucking i can do it you know you can do it um there are many tutorials on dwarf fortress and uh you cannot or you just look up a quick start tutorial really on like the the wiki and get going in five minutes but um still uh i guess for you guys i, I guess, this sounds kind of a little weird but I kind of want want my tutorial series to be just for us in a way, because I don't want like a newcomer completely come and that have never watched me before, and they watch me and be like, "This is full of jokes that I don't get, and it's really unfunny and horrible." Like, and I want to be like, "No, no, you got to watch the other parts, you know, secret just for us." Because I I don't want to just straight up do a tutorial. I kind of want to interject a little bit of humor into it, so you know. Um, but. Besides all that, uh, to finalize about this, I say, um, it's cool, I'm curious, scratching my head a little bit, but, uh, yeah, uh, what else can I say, but, uh, but, uh, NOT SCREW IT, TILE SETS ARE FOR STUPID ELVES, AND GET OUT OF HERE, HA, <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> for real though, uh, I look forward to it, and I'm gonna see what it uh, has in the future. It's cool. Uh, I want to learn more about it, and uh, hey, more, more Dwarf Fortress, man. I can't complain. All right. Well, anyway, what can I say? Uh, we're gonna move on now. We are actually gonna be streaming RimWorld uh, later tonight, which is actually a game inspired by Dwarf Fortress. So. Uh, I know, was it, Vinny played, like, a Dwarf Fortress Light? Yeah, what was that called? The Realm of the God or whatever? Odd Realm. Yeah. Tell you what, maybe we should do a Dwarf Fortress-esque uh, stream, where all the lights come out. Like, we can play... Uh, no, 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 Moria? <laughs> the, 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 the Dwarf Castle! And uh, all those games, you know, and I can uh, Dwarf Fortress ripoff stream. I don't call it that, um, <laughs> but um, yeah, Angband. Well, Angband's a fucking roguelike. That's not, you know, well, if you're talking adventure, maybe. But call it Dwarf Fortress games. Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, uh, we're gonna move on now. Uh, that's my thoughts about it. Uh, all I can say is uh, cool. I guess. I'm not like overly enthusiastic about it, but I'm just kind of like, I'm. T tell you what, tell you what. There, there's a, there's a. Hang on, wait a minute. There's a. There's a gif of uh, Chow Yun Fat. 
and I think you guys have seen this. This, this is my official statement and reaction to Dwarf Fortress on Steam. Ready? Here it is. It's kind of, oh, yeah, cool. Okay, bye. You know, like, it's not too much, too much I can say about it. <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, all right. Anyway, uh, yeah, neato. And we're going to move on here to Turok 2 mods. Sit tight and uh, more stuff coming up. Don't go nowhere. <laughs> 